Can the captain answer the call? It's a stiff one. Loads of experience. Taylor made for one day cricket Shahid Afridi. Afridi goes back and clears the rope. First time the ball in his half and his eyes lit up. He gave it the full Monty and uh, the first six of this Pakistan innings. Struck it clean. The first one that's uh, really cleared the rope. Six hit by the Sri Lankans. Uh, when the field Malik went over the line. Having caught it, but uh, Afridi there getting the full face of the bat. He goes again. Consecutive sixes. This is a big one. Twice he's pitched the ball up and twice he's been hammered down the ground. So suddenly some momentum. Yes, he really got hold of that second one. Weak delivery from Maruf. Right up there for Afridi to climb into it. He just got underneath it. Lucky. He'll get uh, four for that off the inside edge. He was looking to work it on the onside. Uh, walking across the stumps. Missed the off stump and not far away from Sangakara. Yes, yeah, Sangakara was going uh, to his right. Just picking it up uh, after it got the inside edge. Two is the call. They'll get two easily. 18 overs gone. It's 63 for four. Gone to the big one. Two fielders in the deep, but uh, no chance at all for any of the fielders. At six, also bringing the 50 partnership. Third one for Shahid Afridi. Three sixes so far in the innings, all three the Pakistan captain. On the boundary's been hard to come by. He just goes down the wicket, smashes it. May in fact pick up another one. There is, uh, as we would expect, a deep square leg. This was in the last over. Good use of the feet. The strong man. Once again, it's Afridi. And it's travel miles. Bottom hand being used to good effect. Brings up the 100 for Pakistan. Griffin quite happy to just throw it up there. Afridi down the pitch. Well, you mentioned earlier, Shiva, that uh, perhaps Pakistan should consider the power. Again, looking to hit straight. Just pushed back into play. He will take his chances against Mulidharan. That was good work in the deep. I think the ball seemed to be headed for the boundary. Just on the bounce. Good commitment shown by the fielder here. And uh, Matthews uh, has been in the game right the way through, hasn't he? This time, clears long on. 50 for the Pakistan captain and it's come in just 33 balls and even during those 33 balls it's uh, looked as if he's been responsible he still manages to score score quickly three sixes of Murli big hit up in the air and ends the over lucky to get away 122 for five There he goes. This is massive. Again, uh, a six of Murlidhar, and that's the fourth of him. Sixth overall. 130 for five. The fireworks carry on from the bat of 
Boom Boom Afridi. Look at that. This is gone. Nicely played. Gets the boundary. Sloppy effort in the deep. Not something you see too often with Sri Lanka. Malinga, the man, sticking his leg out. Well, you've seen the big shots. Look at that delicate little touch. Just helping the ball on its way. Using the pace of the ball, just guiding it. Knowing that there's nobody close enough to even uh, go for a catch. Taking the aerial route, but so delicate. Delightful little chopped from uh, the captain take the single keep the strike 139 for five that's clubbed away that's a terrific shot a little bit on the shorter side and he pummeled it through the onside Very clear suggestion he's seeing the ball well now he's confident this is a single-handed performance for Pakistan. Take that! Goodness gracious! It was there for the taking and he obliged. Bang! Off it went. Just one bump. Swept away. Gets the placement. And a good start to the over. So straight away the pressure back on Mutaya Murlidharan. That was a bold move to bring Morley back into the attack and uh, I'm afraid it hasn't paid off. Just using the little bit of turn there is in Morley's bowling, just sweeping it around fine. Look at that, his eyes lit up, got on top of that very well. Use the spin and... Alinga. Oh, getting himself into an awkward position. He will pick up the single. In fact, it runs away to the boundary. Everybody's surprised. Did look extremely awkward managing it. Oh, he uh, absolutely lost it. He's got an awkward bowling action in there. Shahid Afridi expecting the ball to bounce. It did not. But to his credit, he uh, still got a four. I don't know why is he complaining to the umpire. He didn't bowl that delivery. Change of pace, not getting the line right. Has to pay a big price for that. Getting Afridi on to 83 with the boundary. Six fours and six sixes so far. I don't know who's winning this war because Afridi has clearly been uh, in a little bit of uh, bother, but he's managed to pull off two boundaries. This once again was not pleasantly played. He looked uncomfortable on his toes the ball did not rise but got him another four kumar sangakara is a frustrating or frustrated captain good shot created the width moving leg side of the ball of Fidi. i think now it makes sense for murli uh, to bowl till the end and even bowl to shahid afridi Struck it really nicely. Deserves a boundary. Afridi gets into the 90s. 172 for six. There are very few people in world cricket that can neutralize Mutaya Murlitharan. And well, we can uh, comfortably state that Chad Afridi has mastered Murlitharan's tricks. He's really played well. Now in the 90s, 91 from just 57 ball. Appeal from Singakara. They are confident. It's a long appeal and not given. Also called one for the over. Afridi's dramatic fall could have uh, put the umpire off target. But he is down for the count, Shahid Afridi. He was cramping up quite seriously, but now it seems to have hit him quite badly. Well-planned execution 
from Sri Lanka. That bouncer was pretty useful against someone like Shahid Afridi who took the bait. But uh, they, there didn't appear to be any sound or any deviation of the bat. But he fell straight away. <laughs> Dramatic stuff. And almost got rid of himself. Uh, that bat was very close to the stumps. So there was a case of a caught behind. Kumar Sangakara was pretty keen with what had happened. Behind the stumps, Kula Sekra also followed him. And then Afridi almost hit wicket himself. Timing it really well. Limping for a single. 181 for six. You can lose your focus very quickly if uh, your body is hurting and cramping up. Shahid Afridi there not been able to even walk that single. In great bit of pain. Shot asking for trouble. That's the slow delivery. The batsman has enough time to put it away. I think he'll be better off taking a, a runner. Shahid Afridi is uh, going nowhere with his running. He's uh, lost power in his legs, lost his bat while executing that pull shot, the slow delivery. There you see him dropping it immediately and then limping away for that single. Smashed away. It seemed as if uh, the field almost got to it, but uh, Sada Freedy has reached 100, coming in 68 deliveries. They all stand to him. A great innings from the Pakistan captain. It deserves all the accolades. Can it be a match-winning one? That still remains to be achieved. Can he go on? He does. It's down the crowd. Don't worry. Uh, can't he catch that? Someone just fetch it. And he's down to swing himself off his feet. And he looks in some considerable pain now. This time it looked, uh, looks like the worst uh, of what's happened so far. He's actually holding on to his back. So has he done uh, more damage? He dumped something serious. He did come down the track pretty well, considering he's been hobbling around. And it was a big one again. Cleared the boundary by quite a few yards. And there he is. He's definitely in a lot of pain at the moment.